Hey guys, it's Damian with TheUnlocker.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to load a custom ROM on the Motorola Droid 2. Okay, so before you begin, you obviously have to have a rooted Droid 2. If you don't, you can head on over to our How to Root the Droid 2 tutorial. You have to have the Motorola drivers installed, which is also in the How to Root the Droid 2 tutorial. You have to have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. If you don't, you can head on over to how to install a custom recovery on the Droid 2 tutorial. Um, this will work on any variation of the Droid 2 lineup that includes both the Droid 2 Global and also the Droid 2 R2-D2 version. And one very important step is if you have an R2-D2 version, you must do an Android backup if you want to go back to the stock software with all the Star Wars goodies and stuff on it. There's no... Um, floating stock ROM out there that I'm aware of so this is going to be a pretty important step if you have a regular Droid 2 and you don't want to do a backup you kind of don't have to because there is a .sbf file which will get you right back to completely stock alright so if you're ready to get started head on over to our ROM section choose a ROM that you like then download it and then place it on your desktop Okay, so after you have the ROM downloaded, we need to plug in the phone with the USB cable, and then we're going to select USB mass storage option. So the next step is to place the downloaded ROM directly on the root of your SD card. And by root, I mean directly onto the SD card and not in any files or folders. Okay, so next we have to load the bootstrapper application. So go into your applications menu, pull up the bootstrap application, select bootstrap recovery, okay, and then reboot recovery. Okay, once recovery opens up, we need to do a Nandroid backup. So using the volume down button, scroll until you find backup and restore. Select backup. And now it's going to back up your current ROM. Okay, now that the backup is complete, we need to do a factory wipe. So using the down arrow, the volume down button again, go to wipe data factory reset delete all user data and now it's going to factory reset okay now that it's reset we're going to flash the ROM so using the volume down button again go to install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card and then scroll down to find your ROM zip Now it's going to flash the ROM. Okay, once the ROM's done flashing, we're going to reboot. So from the main menu, make sure Reboot System Now is highlighted, and then select it. And there you have it. You're running a custom ROM on the Droid 2. Enjoy it, guys.